Oh my gosh, finally a breeze. It's Deb uh, in my main gardens. It is so hot here uh, today in Maine in September, which is just crazy. It's been steamy hot all week and I know it's probably been very hot where you are. Um, and the upside is the raised beds are producing uh, <laughs> rapidly. So this is week number 11 of my raised bed update. Every week since we put the raised beds in, I just come and tell you what's going and growing and what lessons I'm learning and all the good stuff. And I appreciate you hanging out with me because I'm sure you could be doing a thousand million other things. So at the end of the video, I'm gonna show you a full basket of produce that I am just picking right now. It's crazy. And um, my Kornacki scoreboard update, which will give you um, an account of everything I have harvested since we put the beds in again 11 weeks ago. I'm excited because if you're growing, you probably know this too, the tomatoes are coming in like crazy. And these beauties are all ripening so fast. You know, one of the things that um, you wanna think about is when to pick your tomatoes and so trying to time that right so they're ripe enough so you have all the good juices in there but not overripe so they start to split. I put this on the kitchen um, my windowsill in the kitchen it ripens in no time so you don't want them to get fully ripe on the vine um, because that also depletes energy from the plant that could be put into the ripening and growing of other tomatoes. It's just been so fun to harvest these and last night I took one of these large ones that had ripened on the uh, kitchen window and I took an everything bagel uh, toasted it then added just a little light mayo on the bagel cut one of these babies up large slice put it on top a little sea salt the simplest thing and oh my gosh it was so good and then the rest of the tomato that was left over I just popped it in my mouth and I said to myself just have a moment and enjoy this because you grew these and you should be proud and February will come and you'll be missing them terribly so I hope that you take the time to enjoy the fruits the vegetables of your labor the tomatoes of your labor and anything else you're growing and just um, appreciate it. That's what it's all about, right? And share it with others. Um, the other thing that's happening in the gardens, I harvested some squash this week. The cukes are still coming. And I have some peppers. I've got a bell pepper. Look how beautiful that is. Ah, I know. It's just perfect. So... Oh, oh, and look at this. Stand by. My first habanero. Yeah. Um, we have grown a ton of peppers this year. Habaneros, jalapenos, hot bananas. I don't know, I've got some others. Some in the raised beds and others in pots elsewhere. So I am looking for a really easy, good, um, like a, just a, a recipe for using the hot peppers, like a pepper jelly that I could make and then we could give away at Christmas time. So if you have one, I would love it if you would share it. Um, Cause I've got a ton of them that I need to use up and get them out of the freezer. And now the ones that we've grown this year. I don't know. So. Any help would be appreciated. So with that, I am sweaty and stinky and gross. So I'm gonna go inside in the AC. And um, at the end, again, I'll show you a photo of tonight's harvest and the scoreboard of what we've harvested today. And I wanna thank you for hanging out with me in my main gardens. I'm ready for hoodie weather. I know, but after Labor Day, I'm ready for my hoodies and my cozies. It will come. I'm gonna enjoy this while we have it. Talk to you later.